So yesterday, there was a big announcement again that will affect international students, incoming and current international students here in Canada. And this will also include the open work permit, their spouses. So if you want to know more about the updates announced yesterday, make sure that you watch this video until the end and let's go through it one by one. Hi, my name is Coach MC and you are watching Esli Canada where we help current and incoming international students here in Canada through helping them with the programs, jobs, and also navigating their life here as a newcomer. So whenever IRCC will have this big announcement, a lot of international students will get confused and that's why it is important to really understand what it was said during that announcement. So number one that was uh, mentioned during that announcement was about capping the international students. Remember when they capped the international students in the beginning of the year, it was only applicable to diploma and certificate programs, but now probably they not is the loopholes that a lot of students are taking master's degree and PhD and to fix that problem they are now capping the master's and PhD as well so now what you need to do is to ask your school if you need your attestation let's say you're taking a master's degree do you need the attestation before submitting your application because during that announcement it was not mentioned when it will be implemented so i remember during that time when they announced the capping for diploma and certificates a lot of students were paused to submit their application because they have to wait for the attestation so you don't know if you submit your application now without the attestation they might return your application to you, right? So you have to connect to your school and wait for further announcement from IRCC. So MC, can I still apply for a master's degree? Yes, you can still apply. It's just that when you are submitting your study permit application, I will suggest to wait for the attestation. And the attestation, usually it comes with your letter of acceptance. So there will be process in place. You just have to wait for the announcement from your school and the IRCC. The next big change that is coming this fall is about the post-grad work permit. So Miller said during that interview that the graduate programs like master's degree, PhD, they will still be eligible for the three-year work permit. However, if you are graduating from a program like diploma certificates from a community college in Canada, they will no longer be eligible for the post-grad work permit unless your program of study is linked to an occupation that is highly in demand in Canada. And what's putting a lot of stress to our current international students right now is that they don't know if they're affected or not because Miller did not specify it, right? But if you read between the line, he said, prospective students who will be applying on or after November 1st. So my interpretation to that is that the students who will be applying for a study permit. So I don't know, it's just my speculation, but it's not fair for students who already completed the program or about to complete the program and then end up not getting a post-grad work permit. Right, so let's wait for further announcement. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are not affected if you're a current student, but let's wait for further announcement this coming fall. Make sure that you are subscribed to our channel because I will definitely give you guys an update. But if you're an, a prospective student, make sure that you choose the right program. I always stress that out, right? In my previous videos, for the couple of years, I always tell the people, the students to take a program that is highly in demand in, in Canada. So if you need help with that, make sure that you comment below, connect with us. I will leave the link in the description box. The next big change is about the post-grad work permit again. And this change, we already anticipated this a couple months ago when we created a video about the proposed changes on the post-grad work permit. If you haven't checked that one, make sure that you watch that after this one but this is about the English test 
they will now include the English requirement when you are applying for the postgraduate work permit. So if you are graduating from a graduate level, let's say master's degree, PhD, then you will need at least CLB7. If you are graduating from a diploma or certificate program, you will need at least CLB5. So for me, it's not a big deal because you will also need the English test when you are applying for the permanent residency. I always suggest our students to take and review for the test before they graduate so that when they graduate, they are PR ready. So now my suggestion is not just aim for CLB5, aim for higher scores because it will help you boost your scores in Express Entry and PNP. And if you are graduating this coming fall or this coming winter, then I would suggest that you book your test in advance. The next big change will greatly impact the spouses or partners of our international students here in Canada. So remember when they changed the policy in the beginning of the year, they said that only master's degree or PhD or selected professional degrees will be able to obtain the open work permit to their spouses or partners. So now they're putting more restriction on it. So they said that the master's degree and PhD should be 16 months or longer so that you can apply for the open work permit. So if you are incoming student, make sure that that you align the program to what was announced yesterday but mostly the master's degree and PhD programs in Canada are 16 months and 18 months or even longer but if your program is less than 16 months change your program if you have the chance and this was announced yesterday I received a lot of calls a lot of messages from students inside Canada and this is where I saw the gap that you know these students they came here with an agent with without the help of anyone and now when they arrive they don't have anyone to talk to right they don't have support system and with these changes happening right now this will not be the last and it will hit you mentally some students they get depressed some students you know they get anxiety attack whenever icc will announce something and if you're someone who needs help you need someone to talk to, we have a group support for you. This group support, I was only offering this with our students inside SLE, but now I've been thinking maybe I should offer this outside of SLE for our current students. So if you guys need help, if you feel like I need someone to talk to, I need someone to check into every week, then Connect with me. I will leave the link in the description box and then let's connect. It's good to have a great support system here in Canada because again, this will not be the last change. It will be never ending changes in immigration. And this is the world that we're living in right now. So thank you guys for watching this video and in the next video, hopefully we'll be releasing the highly in demand occupations in Canada. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.